the best. Good on you, Froggy Norris, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, his boat will be, as you've heard, first with the latest at the Melton Gold Cup. It's on a different date this weekend. It's actually the weekend after the Southern 80, I've noticed. So um, don't get sucked into thinking it's the first weekend in February like, uh, like it normally is. Okay, here we go. Line up. Looks like Wendy Geelan is on pole. Andrew Donahue out at two. Then it's the uh, Melton Toyota uh, Grant Harrison. Then we've got Oscar Stevenson, Paul Cunningham, Brad Holland, and on the outside, Nathan Bartzak. As they tip into the port, turn the bottom end of the course, Dewey Nichols running on pole at the back end of the field there. Wendy Geelan on pole as well. Donnie, who's done a good job as he gets through, but it's Harrison now uh, with the uh, break on the field now as he charges down the back straight away. Good battle going on here between Oscar Stevenson and Brad Hollins, and Brad Hollins making a big move down the outside. Oscar Stevenson's going to look across to his starboard side and go, holy crap, there's another yellow boat. Brad Hollins, this boat, brand new, absolutely stunning race for him this morning. He came in second in behind Harrow. Anyone that can do that is having a good day and in a brand new boat, absolutely phenomenal. So we drag race down the front straight away. Harrison, Stevenson, Hollins, then it's Donahue, back to Nichols, Geelan. Paul Cunningham's got problems in that boat. And on the outside is Nathan Bartak in the HBR2. Up to the top turn we go. Harrison still doing a good job, but I'll tell you what, he's got an angry pack snacking, snapping at his transom at the moment. So Brad Holland again looking very, very menacing in this brand new machine. As he fires down and pulls up alongside. Grant Harrison, Harrison knows he's got his work cut out for him here. Up to the top turn we go. Great effort here from the Holly Boys to put a brand new boat on the water and so competitive straight off the bat. What a fantastic effort. Down the front turn we go. Harrison, Stevenson and Holland having a great battle here. Up to the top turn. And Grant Harrison still managing to hold off the two yellow charges from the HBR stable. Twister on the outside. HBR two on the inside. <laughs> Have a look at Holly pulling up alongside Harrow. And still more problems there for Paul Cunningham in the uh, Melton Toyota 86 entry, very unusual for this crew, but they're having dramas with that boat. Down through the bottom turn, and the yellow flags produced, one lap to go. Harrow trying to hold off a hard charging Brad Hollands. Oscar Stevenson in third place, doing a great job. These two boats really duking it out now. Down through the bottom turn we go. I think Harrison having that inside run is probably probably going to be hard to beat from here, but Hollands is still just absolutely hammering him around the outside. He appears to have a little bit of pace on him at about three-quarter track up the back here, dancing from sponsor to sponsor, both of these boats. Harrison definitely working overtime. I don't think he's just making a race of it here. Froggy, he is absolutely throwing everything at this, as we see Bartzak with a problem in Brad Holland's old boat, it's a drag race to the line, and I tell you what, Harrison's going to get there, but it's by the skin of his teeth, the Melton Toyota, 80, uh, 100 I should say, takes the win over Brad Holland's in the twister, and Oscar Stevenson, a strong third place for him. I tell you, this is a good run here from Dewey Nichols, knocking off a couple of uh, much newer, higher technology boats. The S15 comes in for fourth place. 
Froggy, I think maybe the days of the two Harrison boys running around together just making a race of it could be over. It's uh, certainly looking that way, and young Oscar's coming through in the Howard Design boat. He's, uh, he's certainly showing his colours, and um, yeah, it's going to be very good racing for a long time to come. Absolutely, mate. You're going to have to uh, find a few horses out of yours as well, brother. Yeah, I think I might have to stick my son in. He's a lot wider than me. Yeah. <laughs> well, mate, I've seen plenty of sons go fast than their dads, mate. It's just as good. Uh, he's been telling me for years how good he is, but so I just think it's about time to shut him up, I think. <laughs> Make him pay for it. That'll shut him up. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Froggy. Thanks for your input, mate. Uh, looks like the, uh, the class that you're in is uh, very, very healthy at the moment. Yeah, it's only going to get stronger. A couple more boats come out in the next 12 months, so uh, look out for the uh, 1.6 class in the years to come. Oswald well, Hydroplane, like ladies and gentlemen, is where it's at. Go and buy yourself one. Why not get in among some of this fun? Looks absolutely awesome.